whether we like it or not, Jake Paul is a part of our lives. Yeah, we're not happy about it either, but what are you going to do? Most recently, over the course of over a year now, he's been on a mission. That mission? Go and become one of the biggest names in boxing. And to his credit, he's gone and fought in a bunch of matches in the span of that time, and is currently undefeated. But there have been rumors going around, ones that may just go and put a damper on everything he's done. Those rumors? He's doping. We'll break it down for you, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number five, the rumors. So given the high that Jake Paul is on more or less with his latest boxing victory, you'd think that nothing would be bringing him down. But that's not exactly the truth, because while not confirmed, there are many rumors right now flying around that Jake Paul is going to go and retire. Now, to be fair, right after his fight with Tyrone Woodley, he went on to Twitter and said he was retiring, and then the next day said that he was back, which in the case of Jake Paul was just him pulling a stunt to get people talking. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Boom. <laughs> Knock his boy out in one round. And then, you know. The narrative is built in. Jake Paul versus Tyrone Woodley next. But these rumors are talking about a very serious retirement and potential because the rumors are stating that Jake Paul is in a bit of a crisis mode due to him possibly being exposed for taking steroids. At first, and given the nature of sports nowadays with all sorts of items being used to go and help people bulk up, it doesn't take much imagination to guess that there are a lot of athletes doing steroids. Just look at baseball in the 90s and 2000s for proof of that. But with Jake Paul, this is a different story, and all for one very important reason. Number four, validity. You see, both Logan and Jake Paul, they didn't just go and jump into boxing on a whim. They had a clear goal, and that goal was to go and be pro boxers in the sense that they would become the biggest names in the game. Yeah, I mean, you know, we'll see what happens. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of just trolling half serious, half not. You know, I, I still think Jake Paul versus Conor McGregor. And whether people want to admit it or not, they absolutely went and moved the needle in various ways. Not the least of which was Logan's fight against Floyd Mayweather that brought a lot of eyes onto the sport and had a lot of pay-per-view buys. And while Jake's fights haven't been that big, they've been drawing eyes and getting people talking. Plus, after each fight, Jake makes it clear that he's in the game for the long run and wants to prove all the haters wrong. But... If he's on steroids and has been using that to go and get stronger and be bulkier for the fights to come, then he's basically a fraud. Because all true boxers don't go and use steroids to get stronger. They train and they train hard. And while some aren't the mega muscle fiends that certain heavyweight fighters exude, they are still lean and muscled fighters. Uh, but look, man, I don't want to fight losers. The guy keeps on losing. <laughs> you know, his act is being exposed. And... He's on a down, downhill trajectory. So if Jake Paul decided to take a shortcut on that route to power and skill, then he's proven in one decision that he's not a real boxer and can't be the biggest name in the game because the biggest names in the game didn't have to cheat to be great. They did the work and were great. Look at Floyd Mayweather for proof of this. That guy's ego puts the Paul brothers to shame. And with all the money he was making, you'd think he would be juicing just to make sure he could keep making that money. But he didn't, not once. So thus, if Jake Paul's latest rumors are true, his fight for validity is frankly over. Number three, testing. Now there is one major hole in this rumor, and it's one that's very important. Because you can go and point at someone and say they're on steroids all you want. But if you can't prove it, it's not worth saying at all. This brings us to something that all sports, including boxing, does. They want to make sure that there's no funny business going on in their sports after the various scandals that plagued them for years. You know, I, I think it'd be a good fight. I think it would. I think it would go to a decision. But really, uh, you know, I'm 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 the bigger guy. I'm faster. I'm stronger. Uh, and Just ask the Olympics how serious they take drug testing. And yeah, boxers have to go and do it as well. So you would be right in asking how he could be taking steroids right now with no one noticing that he's taking them via these tests he'd no doubt have to do, right? Well, here's the thing. While it's true that Jake Paul is a boxer, he's not exactly in a promotion that's recognized on a major level. Think about those he's fought in terms of his career so far. One YouTube star, one former NBA star, and two former UFC pros. They're not exactly world-class boxers, are they? And as anyone who's watched the matches knows, 
they're more about the spectacle than the substance of boxing. As a result, you could argue that their rules on drug testing are lax, if they do it at all. We honestly don't know if they tested Jake Paul or any of his opponents. For all we know, they might not exist, and as a result, he could be doing steroids knowing that he isn't going to get tested for them. You know, he doesn't have that hunger, that that drive that you do when you're when you're still trying to obtain, you know, the biggest goals. And so, you know, that that would be a good fight. But I, I would I would pull up. We honestly don't know. And that's what makes the rumors very interesting in certain ways. Number two. But if he's not doping, then what is the next move? After beating Tyrone Woodley by split decision, his first victory of that kind, many wonder if he's going to go and try and do something more on his level in terms of an opponent or fight Woodley again, as many are wondering, after they've talked rematch post-fight. Unfortunately for both the Paul brothers, they've angered some big people in the fighting world, one of them being UFC star George Masvidal. Masvidal told ESPN in an interview that he would be interested in fighting Jake Paul and his older brother Logan Paul in the boxing ring. I'm going to beat up all the Pauls, Masvidal said minutes after making an appearance during the All Elite Wrestling pay-per-view event All Out. Look, I just came up with the idea and I hit up a couple jewelers and they were like, okay, like we can get it done. It's going to cost you 100K. And I was like, very, very worth it. Uh, <laughs> if they put money in my pocket, of course, I'd like to break some Disney characters faces. I've been fighting men who've been training since seven, eight years old to do the same thing to me what I do to them. Fighting guys like the Pauls is a bonus, man. And he's made it clear in the past that he had no love for the Paul brothers. Who the F is this Paul kid, as it all said. He thinks we're friends because I gave him some advice in the Ben Askren fight. Get the F out of here, bro. I'll slap you and whoever the F you want, bro. I'm a fighter. Of course you're going to get offended. Even though he knows that this might be a struggle, he thinks he can motivate a certain someone to get things done. UFC would have to sign off, but nothing is impossible, Masvidal said. Dana doesn't like those guys, and Dana knows I'll go in there and put a hurting on those kids. Maybe he does send in the effing assassin. Number one, Canelo and McGregor. It might have been the reason. It's like a little voodoo doll. Yeah. And <laughs> I was sitting ringside, and he actually was going around the octagon before the fight, and he like stared at me and like tried to like shadow box. Another path that Jake Paul could go is going after other big guns in the fighting world, one of whom he's taunted forever is Conor McGregor. Even noting after the Woodley fight, Conor's going down, I'm going up, said the problem child. That guy McGregor needs to get off his little vodka or whatever his brand is and sober up and start to get back in the gym, and then we can effing fight. Conor was asked about the Woodley fight and he said, I don't really care. And then there's a real boxer in Canelo Alvarez, whom Jake Paul has mocked in the past. He said that he's not denying a potential fight with Paul in the future, but that he has to keep improving in regards to his in-ring style and technique, which Paul would definitely take as a challenge to himself. But again, if the steroids deal is real, then it's not likely to happen. You know, I still have a lot to prove in this sport. Uh, up until a fight ago, people didn't think I could really fight at all. And by the way, people still think that. And so I have a mass. Only time will tell what's real here. And there you have it, everyone, a look at the rumors about Jake Paul and whether they could be real or not. Do you think that there is some credibility to them all? Or do you think that this is less about Jake Paul and more about people wanting him gone by any measure? And if it is false, who do you think he'll go and take on next in the boxing ring? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.